Stanford Cal. Here's four more. Band on the field. Guys? Breakdown. Thanks, Sean. I love it when he breaks it down for us. Totally. And I can't wait for the time when he breaks down one of his own breakdown segments. Me too. All right, more cheat seats after. Hey, welcome back to the show. I think it's time. Little do you care? Let's find out. Just You care that Joe Onasai, a.k.a. the Dancing Machine, played football at the University of Hawaii and was drafted by the Dallas Cowboys, but sadly was seriously injured in a preseason drill ending his career. Do you care that nowadays Joe is a minister? Do you care that he is also a radio host? Do you care that he's also a singer? Now that I actually do care about because I happen to have a copy of his latest CD. Would you like to hear it? <laughs> Would I? Sweet bombs. Now we're talking. Well away. Rasmussen on the far side. They're the first three at the moment. But Taylor and Magnus. Okay, explain to me again why they're doing the farmers walk with nuclear weapons. They have a booth at the North Korean farmers market. Oh. These two, the slow turn. Um, should they really be dropping the bombs like that? Magnus hanging on. Taylor in pursuit. Joe Onasai is struggling. Just a few more yards for the Icelander. It's a good time. No near It's Marco, so not he fair. He got the helium tanks. Now, come on, Gary. Herod beaten for the second time by Magnus. Magnuson finished so long ago, he's already showered in the hospitality tent, signing his card. All over the place. Oh, this is so dramatic. Dramatic or pathetic? Surely, just two more steps. Ugh, this doing. event is never going to end. Yeah, just fast forward to the finals. It seems impossible that Magnus What's in the sack? Can be the world's weakest man. The first man to win two years in succession. Badenhorst would have to produce something special. Yeah, like a Magnuson, gun. Though, gets that sack up, first attempt. Herod Badenhorst. Come on, Badenhorst, grab your sack and run like hell. These two men, not the biggest men in the competition. Either way, I'm definitely hiring these guys when I move. Demonstrated skill, strength, and determination. All right, kegs here. You guys are cool with straws, right? Easy. Look out oh, in the, the front row, that barrel's full of gunpowder! Have to go back Careful, there's the treasure in there. Arr, and Captain by treasure, I mean Captain Crunch. Arr. Magnuson trying to get the anchor on. A little glance across there from Herod. I wonder what's going through his mind. Now, Magnuson that summer he worked the Donkey Kong ride at the Reykjavik Magic Mountain is really paying off for him right now. Harry Taylor could have taken that route with the sack. Easy, bad and horse. There's a rodeo clown sleeping in there. Now for the chain for Magnus van Magnuson. The anchor for Baden Horst. This guy is tough. That's actually his wallet chain. For Magnuson to become champion again. Baden Horst looks as though he's destined to finish in second place. But Magnuson is the champion. Hooray, that There's almost no makes up for my literacy issues. For the third time in his and life. with that, we close the book on the strong men and open it on the strong women with the 1996 Ms. Galaxy competition. But before we take you out there, we must inform you of the hypocrisy inherent within this event. They claim to be striking a blow for athletic women everywhere, pushing the boundaries of conventional thinking, and yet there's a swimsuit portion. Now let's make fun of it. Now let's join our host, Tammy Shaky pullback, shaky pullback. Well done, camera two. Miss Galaxy competition. I'm Tammy McClinic, and with me is Mia Finnegan, last year's winner. Mia, we're here in Did beautiful Did Tammy Venice, just California. come from church in that dress? Uh, wardrobe, little help? How does the competition look this year? Tammy, the competition looks fierce. We have Shannon Macho, our obstacle course winner, coming back to try it again. So Mia won last year's competition, but not the obstacle course. So that means she won the algebra portion. We have Dana Fox, who has been our preliminary obstacle course winner. Down on the field, we have Lori Donnelly, who's going to be interviewing... McClintock, Finnegan, Donnelly. Is this the Miss Galaxy contest or a list of Boston Celtics season ticket holders? We're going to be bringing you the action live. They couldn't afford another microphone? 
Thanks, Lori. The girls are waiting on the line, getting ready to run their heat. This is where the adrenaline is flowing. The heart is racing. The estrogen is dropping. Where's Paris Hilton when you need her? Whoa, false start there, Pinky. And I guess they're just not going to call it. How does the ref miss that false start? I mean, what could have been so distracting that he blew that call? Oh, OK. Okay, here's the wall. You want me on that wall. You need me on that wall. Boy, it sure does help to have a 12-second head start. Absolutely, Tammy. They moved it to the beginning because about 25 Who'd we get this tape from? Al Jazeera? Get over the wall at the end of the obstacle course. Now this is like a summer camp competition. No matter who wins, both monks are going to get the pizza party. And she's going up the cargo net. Now, this takes a lot of concentration. It's not so concentration? Chess is concentration. Open heart surgery is concentration. This is a bunch of women with a gym membership and some time on their hands. Awfully high. Now, but, OK, how many confirmed kills do you have to record in order to get that job? This is a new element to it. The what? Beams, the Humiliation? You have to hop up over and over. And this is where the lactic acid sets in. And these they dropped things, acid? What? She totally cheated. How did nobody stop this race? Yeah, in our world, winners never cheat and cheaters never win. But apparently, it's the other way around in the galaxy. Was there anything you felt you got better on or worse on? Yeah, I got better at starting before the horn goes off. I just put a little more chalk in my hands. You did. How about the cargo net? Well, the 12 second head start really helped. Nothing that man. <laughs> it's making me mad. I was m missing a few steps, but. Check out the guy flexing in the background. Hey, Randy. Yeah, Christine. Do you know the mustache man, the mustache man, the mustache man? Do you know the mustache man is creeping everybody out? Check his bag. I feel like I've seen him before at other sporting events. You have, Rand. He's been creeping people out at sporting events for years. Take a look. Damn, that guy's everywhere. All right, we'll be back with more Cheap Seats. Welcome back to Cheap Seats and the Ms. Galaxy competition. I got to say, Jay, these women put the gal back in Galaxy. I don't know, Rand. I'd say some of these gals put the lax back in Galaxy. I see some loafing. If anyone's been lax, it's the creators of this competition. There's only one event, an obstacle course. How about some variety, people? And there you go. I stand corrected. Welcome back to the Miss Galaxy competition. This is the swimsuit round. And what I'll just set my shutter down. speed to creepy, and away we go. Proportions, a, a nice overall symmetrical shape, and as well. As Good the idea for the producers to blur the video and never stay on a woman longer than half a second. Also, they look for hair. They look for makeup. They look for how you stand on stage, how you present yourself. All it's the true really markings a of a great athlete. Uh, overall oh, package. Absolutely, yes. they are looking for a total package. Physical, facial beauty. All right, Snoop, just get in the shot, and we got it. We want to see how you walk, how you stand, how you present yourself. And here we have Cara D'Alessandro. Who's doing the music for this thing, Night Ranger? No, Day Ranger, a Night Ranger cover band. She was a competitive swimmer since... Shouldn't she be holding a sign that says Round 2? Since the age of 13, and she says this is... Whoa, focus, people. Seriously, the focus is all messed up. And our next competitor is Chaparral Dallas. She's OK, five stripper five. name, stage name, or real name? You make the call. Years old. She's from Orlando, Florida. This is another girl who came to our fitness, com our fitness camp. In fitness Florida. camp, where girls become women with eating disorders. And has been an actress and a stunt woman at Universal Studios in Florida. Translation, she's a waitress. This is Wendy Neff. She's Whatever sophistication five. that the middle initial adds is being undone by spelling Wendy with an I. She works as a fitness and marketing director at a health club. What's up with the stage? Did they borrow that thing from a Public Enemy video? She performs on television. Well, one thing's for sure. Wendy with an eye is doing her part to fight the power. Wendy Neff. And next we have our fast competitor, Leisha Dillard. Didn't she's Eddie five. Murphy offer her a ride home one night? And she's 29 years old. And her she's teeth are bigger than Florida. Baba Booey's. And she was a track phenomenon. OK, time for the okay. award ceremony. <laughs> And welcome back. Honey, I'm just going to get a shot of these coconuts. I mean melons. I mean palm trees. The award ceremony. And here we see Shauna McCarver coming out on stage as the bathing suit winner. Did she win during the commercial? 
What, they couldn't spring for a trophy? Uh, no, she won an envelope-shaped trophy.